Greetings, my brothers and sisters. To tell you I believe that most of our police officers are criminals, some of you may agree. Others may find me to be the criminal for attempting to insult our honorable civil servants. In my defense, I'd venture to demonstrate through my channel that my thoughts about law enforcement aren't even relevant because in fact, my channel is about court hearings, arrests, charges, and sentences of the most vile scum that our country has to offer. Rapists, thieves, tyrants who abuse children, women, and veterans. So to be clear, my opinion is inconsequential. However, what is valid are the legal precedents. So as to the matter of evidence collection, I bring cameras to the table and I have you witness for yourself the types of crimes and injustices that we citizens have to contend with in this year of 2023. A modern era in which while we may be sophisticated enough to land on Mars or clone human organs, yet we are equally not capable of being free of organized crime which has rooted itself in our legal system. The problem is systemic and deeply rooted indeed. Such is the case in this current story, which reveals why cops need to be filmed and how they realize cameras are the most nefarious artifact abusively invading their blue line criminal organization. And the justice system fails again. Check it out. Stay in your vehicle. Back in your car. I'm drunk? No, I'm the captain. Huh? A what? Captain. A what? The big don't reach in your pocket. Get back in your car. 116 show me 106 on Henry Lincoln Edward 497. Have a seat. I, I will. I'm not. You been drinking tonight? I just got a ride. You've been drinking tonight, sir. I'm a captain of the police department. What police department? Oklahoma City. What division? Investigations. What are you doing pulling in here? My mom and I stay here. You been drinking? I'm not turning my camera off. Okay. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, we're not gonna get a return on it. How much we drink tonight, sir? I was at a poker game. Uh huh. Because you're swerving all over me when you turn off the you didn't use your signal. I'm sorry. How much did you drink at your poker game? Not much. Not much? Mm -hmm. How much is not much? I don't know. Beer? Liquor? Yeah. How Beer. many beers? Three or four. Three or four? How long ago was that? It's been going on a while. How long ago did you drink your last beer, sir? What time is it now? It's zero one forty. Midnight. You think you should drive it? No, but I came from four blocks. Your mom, your mom lives here. I live here. You live here? Yes. Come over to the rear of your vehicle. Okay. You got any weapons or anything on you? I do not, sir. Just turn around and patch it down real quick. Go ahead. Do what you need to do. I promise you I'm not a problem. Okay. Can I shut my door? I'll shut it for you. Just hang out there at the rear of your Chevy. What investigations are you with? Homicide and assault. 
Yeah, you know, over there. You know, Lieutenant Britton? Then there shouldn't be any discussion as yeah. to whether it should be available to... He's a good man. I like him. He is. He works for Jermaine. Jermaine Johnson? Yes. Jermaine's a good man, too. He is. Hang on right there, sir. That's your brother. Stand with your feet together, hands down by your side for me. Hands, hands down by your side, please. Look straight ahead. You see the tip of my pen, sir? I do. I want you to follow the tip of mm -hmm. my pen without moving your head, okay? Don't move your head, sir. Come over here, it's a little bit more level. You have in those shoes and need cause you from keeping your balance or anything? I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. I'm gonna demonstrate for you first. While I'm demonstrating, I want you to stand with your feet together, hands down by your side, just like this. Alright, sir. What's your name? Matt French. Matt French. Mr. French, stand just like that for me. Okay. When I tell you to begin. When I tell you to begin, okay, I'm just going to demonstrate for you first. Right. I want you to pick a foot of your choosing. It doesn't matter if it's your left or your right foot. I'm from there. And I want you to lift it approximately six inches off the ground. And while you look at your toe, I want you to count by 1,000s. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, so on and so forth until I tell you to stop. At any point in time, you lose your balance or your foot touches the ground. Just go ahead and pick your foot back up and continue to count, okay? Do you understand these instructions I've explained to you, I'm Mr. There. French? You may begin. Sir, can you turn that off? I cannot, sir. Please. I know you're aware of our body cam policy. You know I cannot turn I, off this body I cam. I do, but I'd like to talk to you. I can't mm -hmm. do that, sir. Please. Please. I'd like to talk to you. One. Are you going to do the test or not? Will you please talk to me? I'll talk you, to you once we're done. You can turn it off, you can turn it on. I can turn it off once I'm done with my investigation, sir. Okay. I'm asking you. I'm a captain on this police department. I understand that, sir. I get And that. I am a sergeant on this police officer, and I I'm taking not, an oath to uphold the law. I, I don't not, show favoritism to anyone, regardless. I don't I, care if you're a gangbanger or the president of the United States. Sir, I'm not asking you for that. If I was to treat you differently than I was to treat, like, some south side loco or some pedo, how's that look on me? Okay, I'm not asking you for that. Because I wouldn't do that for any of them. Sergeant Skinner, please. Are you going to do the test or not, sir? I will. I will do whatever you ask. Okay, once we complete the test, I'll turn off my body cam once I'm done with my investigation. Okay. You want to, you want to try that again? I will. Alright, you may begin. One, two, three, four. Sir, please. Please. I'm asking you. I can't do that. Okay. So, we're not going to do the test? We will. Okay, because we keep stopping. Okay, let's try another test. Then. Who is this? One of my partners. Who is it? Not sure. Can't tell with the lights on. No, it's, it's Officer Kitch. You're familiar with the walk and turn? I am. Okay. Well, I demonstrate the walk and turn for you. I want you to stand with your left foot in front of your right foot, okay? Left foot in front of your right foot, heel to toe, hands down by your side. Can you do that for me, sir? 
You want left foot in front of the right? Yes, sir. Hands down by your side. Okay. Attempt to hold that position while I demonstrate for you. You're going to take nine heel to toe steps, counting out loud. One, two, three, four. And we'll say that's nine. On your ninth step, without lifting your lead foot, you're going to pivot like so. And then you're going to take nine heel to toe steps, counting each step out loud, back the way you came until you get to nine. Do you understand these instructions I've explained to you, Mr. French? I believe so. All right, anytime you're ready, you may begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, go ahead and turn around for me. Put your hands behind your back. Are you going to rest here, sir? Yes, I am. Can I talk to you? Go ahead and put your hands behind your back, sir. Can we turn the camera off now? Yeah, we'll turn the camera off now. Thank you. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico and New York have repealed qualified immunity and we remain hopeful that in the near future serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.